Okay, so tell us what brings you here. Um, I drive a lot for my job, and when I noticed that I, I thought I was clenching a lot, but my jaw muscles get really tired a lot during the day, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the most. Do you have trouble chewing gum? My jaws get tired chewing gum. Okay, so it's not like the taste of the gum is gone. It's like I'm just done. Yeah. Spit it out. Yeah. Yeah. Can you drink like? A cold beer or ice cream? Eat ice I cream? I can definitely drink cold beer. Okay. That's but good. Uh, ice cream is a little tough. Does it light you up? Yeah. I have to put it in the microwave. Literally? Yeah. Okay. I warm ice cream before I eat it. Okay. Uh, do, you, <laughs> do you ever get headaches up in your temple region? Um, not, not terribly bad. I mean, it's uh, a lot of times I find myself massaging these cheek, muscles in here. Muscles. Yeah. Okay. How about your neck? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't turn my head too well to the sides, but... Mostly it's in, it just seems like it's in this region here. And I hold my mouth, I hold this teeth apart right there. Unconsciously? Uh, and I you just, catch yourself doing it? Yeah, I just noticed, yeah, since we started talking about this, I've noticed how I keep yeah. them apart. Do you ever wake up at night like clenching hard or does it feel in the morning like you have to almost stretch your jaws apart? Sometimes it's, yeah, I, I haven't really identified when and where it's sore, but uh, just they just tired. My jaws just get tired by the end of the day. Usually it's more in the daytime. Okay. On a scale of one to ten, ten being horrible, one being, or zero being no big deal, how sensitive are your teeth? Seven. Seven-ish? Across the board just about every day? Yeah. This is all positive. Because you have a very quiet JBA, I can basically alter your occlusion and not worry about screwing up your joints. Good. Okay, back home. Go right. Thank you. Oh. Awesome. Yes, sir. You have problems. Okay, back home. One, two, the left. Obviously, the red is one side, the green is another, and actually I'm going to make it a little more difficult. We're split into quadrants. And all these different colors represent where it is. You know what, let's make it easy. This is the amount of time, A to B, that it takes you to quench together. So as you first start clacking, I'll go slow. This is what starts hitting. Do the kite show up? Am I show up? Yeah, I do. I see. See that little red thing and then it scoots to the left there? Oh, uh, yeah. See, this side is, left side is bite, right side is muscle. And as I proceed, and I'm going to go quickly, look at the muscles firing as the bite's happening. Yeah. And you kind of already had an introduction to EMG. Now watch as you start swinging off to the left. As you swing to the left, this is, this is actually good. Your right temporalis shut down, your left master is cranking, but it's cranking too much. Your masters are almost shut down. They're, they're pretty healthy, but that's excessive. So it's taken a lot for you to swing to the left. Yeah, Why? it does. Why? Because look at the this little trail of breadcrumbs. That red line is where it used to be. I'll back it up. Watch it. Watch the red kite now. Keep watching it. Now you're clenching. See, it's stable. It's not really moving. Now hit C line and watch what happens to the kite. It's trying to go left, can't went back right. And it really can't do it well. You've got too much friction in the back slowing you down. Okay. So the one muscle is trying to pull you this way, and you've got other muscles that are inhibiting because yeah. that's what teeth do. They're like sensory well, organs. I hold it. I hold it a little bit to the right. right. Worst thing that happens as far as what do you experience is they might be initially a little sensitive to cold. Not terrible. But if it is, let me know and I'll stop, okay? As we proceed, you'll feel next to nothing. You're going to leave here thinking to yourself, I think. Most do. That's so amazing. I wish someone else had done this for me. And wouldn't it be cool knowing what you know working for who you oh, work yeah. for? If they could find a way 
to integrate this kind of data, not necessarily the muscle. The muscle's very, mm -hmm. I mean, that's icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. But the force and the time mm -hmm. is what drives the muscle. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, if you're really going to do it right, you need the muscle too. Mm -hmm. But the force and the time that is the T-scan is primary. It's probably 75% and the muscle's probably 25 Because there are times where you think you're good here if you just use the bike gadget, but if you had the muscle thing on too, you realize you're not quite done yet. If you want perfection, you get to the A range with the muscle thing. You get to the B range or maybe the A range with just the bike thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like right now, you're like a C minus. I'll get you to a B plus or better today. You see, the goal before, I don't know if you remember, but the kite was shooting back this way. Now you're starting to shoot towards the canine like you're supposed to. Oh. However, you have a hindrance back here on the molar behind the crown. It's, it's almost like someone's lassoed the kite and it's holding it back, making the muscle work harder. It's trying to make you go right. And by the way, notice these numbers have gone down. They were in like 12 to 9 range. Mm. They're actually better already. That's very efficient right there. Those are good numbers. Yeah, I don't think there's, yeah, I think it's better. Getting somewhere. What process? Yep. Little by little. It's actually pretty nice. Feels pretty nice. Feels a lot different, doesn't it? Uh huh. Your left side a lot of relief. Yes. Right there. Yes. See now, look at the kite. It's shimmying on up, but you notice the way it kind of bumps. It's still got a glitch on the back left, and the canine is still too short. So we definitely need to bond. So let me hit your right canine, because I don't, I don't want to grind much more on the backs. I haven't done much, but it starts adding up. Yeah, we're going to try to get by with the two in his upper canines, and leave his lowers alone, saving some money if possible. We can always go back and add those later, because the numbers look good. So, the canines are in the corners of the, of the arches, okay? Mm -hmm. Either a U-shape, the jaws are. It's almost like a machine part, and the tip we ward off, and the tip serves to when the lower canine hits upper can uh, canine as you move to the right or the left, they separate your back teeth. It's kind of like a stop meter that has a, a purpose. Yeah. And the brain is aware if the time that it takes for your back teeth to separate is excessive. When it's excessive, which yours have been, the brain informs the muscles that you need to make that go away. What is that? Those are extra rubs in the back because the canines aren't doing their job. Because everything was rubbing in the back where they didn't used to, it slowed things down, as you saw in the T-scan data. So, I balanced out your back, and now I'm bonding your front. So I'm going to decrease that timing, and I'm going to fool the brain. Into th I, and it's not fooling, I'm telling the brain. The brain's going to measure a new efficiency in the machine and all of a sudden the muscles aren't going to be contracting as much as they were before so over the next couple weeks you were producing excess lactic acid that extra production of lactic acid from muscles overworking like when you work out too hard you feel tired mm -hmm. that's going to metabolize and you're just going to feel like a new guy yeah leave a new man no seriously it takes up to a month some people well, many people when they leave they already feel better but Usually if I talk to them a month later, it's like, oh my god. I forgot that I used to have a problem and feel so good now. And when you shut down those muscles, it has to do with things like hypersensitivity as well. When you put excess proportional strain on a tooth, that causes inflammation. And there's nerve fibers within the peroneal ligament wrapping around the roots as well as the pulp itself that cause little inflammatory changes that uh, signal the brain that there's something wrong. I think you go it's already better. Mm -hmm. You were the first one that kind of said, hey, you should, let him, he fixed mine. You should let him do that. Yeah, I've, it's been almost a year now. It's been a lot of difference. I used yeah. to not be able to chew gum. Yeah. And I wake up in the morning, so I'm not, I'm not sore anymore. Yeah. I would just lay there and just... Mm. Yeah. Okay, take your swig. Okay. <laughs> Where's the ice cream?
It's good. You serve nothing, Lovey. I got nothing. I got nothing. Swish it, swish it. My face is, is relaxed more already. Yeah. Nada? Nada. Hate it when that happens. I guess we're done. I think it was worth it today. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>